everyone. Today we're making Bob's awesome sauce. This super easy gluten-free and vegan snack can be whipped up in minutes. It's named after my husband, Bob, because he's the one who usually makes it. Whenever we serve it to guests, it is devoured in minutes. It's healthier than most other dips or snacks. And it also is more eco-friendly because it doesn't come in single-use plastic containers. Welcome to Cat's Vegan Kitchen. Let's get started. I'm gonna start by soaking a cup of raw almonds. I'm gonna soak it in my high-speed blender because that's what I'm gonna use to make this. You don't have to have a high-speed blender to make this. You can also use a food processor or any other kind of blender. While my almonds are soaking, I soak them for about 30 minutes, I'm gonna get my other ingredients ready. My almonds have been soaking, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to drain them and start making my awesome sauce. Okay, this is gonna be super easy. Everything's going into the blender. I got my soaked almonds. I'm gonna add one cup of water. Then I'm gonna add about a third a cup of sunflower oil. You can use any oil that does not have a strong flavor. Okay, then I'm gonna add the juice of one lemon. That is about two to three tablespoons of lemon juice. I'm gonna add three heaping tablespoons of nutritional yeast. I'm gonna add two cloves of roughly chopped garlic. My blender will do the job of chopping it more finely for me. And now I'm gonna add in my spices. I'm gonna use two teaspoons of Bragg's liquid amino acids. You can also use soy sauce or tamari. One half a teaspoon of salt one half a teaspoon of cumin, a quarter teaspoon of coriander, a quarter teaspoon of paprika, and you know I love hot sauce, so I'm gonna add in a dash or two of Frank's hot sauce. All right, we're ready to blend. Okay, now we're just gonna blend it until the consistency I want it. Now, you can use this as a dip, a spread, or a sauce. So the consistency is gonna depend on what you wanna use it for. I'm gonna make this as a dip today. We're gonna to start on low and move it to high. Okay, I processed that for about a minute on high speed. I knew it was done because I didn't hear any more like crunchiness. It's gonna look a little thin because it's going to get thicker while I chill it. I'm gonna serve this as a dip with crackers and vegetables. I'm gonna garnish mine with a little bit of cilantro just because it looks prettier and we eat with our eyes before we eat with our mouths. If you're looking for the written recipe, you can always find it linked in the description and you'll also find different variations of this sauce that you can make and different ways to use it. I want you to go home and make this and bring it to your next party so you can be the star of the show. If you make it, let me know how it turns out in the comments. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss a recipe. Thanks for watching.